July is going to be hotter than ever because you get up to $50 off any smartphone at Appalachian Wireless. Two-year agreement required. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. It's a trend that's sweeping across the nation. Find a rock, paint a rock, and leave a rock. From rocks with very detailed paintings to inspirational quotes to a simple smiley face have been popping up near the Mountain Home Place in Johnson County for the past several weeks. And there is no age limit to those who are finding themselves caught up in rock hunting here on the Kiwanis Trail in Paintsville. This has got us back out, so we're having a ball. I love it. And we're going to take it home to paint it and bring it back. I do crafts. I already have a lot of paint and brushes and all that stuff. So all I do is just pick up rocks and paint them. Happiness can be found even in the darkest of times if only one remembers to turn on the light. From time to time, small groups will get together and have rock painting parties. And they'll hit the trail as soon as the paint dries. Now the area around Paintsville Lake, including the Kiwanis Trail that I'm on, is maintained by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. And because of some Corps regulations, the future of rock hunting on this specific property is uncertain. Corps of Engineers officials at Paintsville Lake are said to be looking into the painted rocks on the Kiwanis Trail, and they'll make a decision soon as to whether the trend is violating littering or abandonment of personal property rules under their guidelines. We weren't able to reach anyone with the Corps this afternoon, but EKB News will continue to follow this developing story out of Johnson County. But no matter the outcome here on the Kiwanis Trail, those who hunt for the painted treasures in Johnson County say they want to spread the smiles. When I go somewhere out of town, or I'm going to start taking rocks with me and hide them. Reporting right in Johnson County, I'm Shannon Deskins for EKB News.